Hello everyone, welcome to Witchtube. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking. Here is where I review smartphones, smartwatches, headphones, earbuds, etc. So if you're into technology, consider subscribing. Today I'm gonna talk about the later case Willy Blue Cyber Edition for my iPhone 12 mini and the Note 20 Ultra. Now just for context, later case is a lineup of premium smartphone cases made of Kevlar material that is heat resistant and has a tensile strength comparable to that of carbon fiber. All these cases are matte finished and looks fabulous. So let's get started. Now you might find similar looking cases elsewhere for a variety of price range but on latercase.com these cases are listed for 45 US dollar irrespective to the color and the smartphone model. So these cases are not cheap. They do next day shipping to Canada for just $5 and if you're in Canada, I would highly recommend you to do that as I ordered this case and in just 24 hours from my order, these cases were on my phone. So it's that fast, kudos and thanks to that blazing fast delivery. Now they offer matte black and their limited edition willy blue and crimson cases. However, at the time of filming this video, their Crimson Cyber Edition cases are on pre-order and that is why I ordered the Willy Blue Cyber Edition. Ordering process from their website is super simple and pretty self-explanatory. You can pay with PayPal if you want to. Okay, now let's start with the unboxing experience and if you don't care about unboxing experience, skip to this timestamp. But at this price point, for a lot of you folks out there, unboxing experience does matter. The packaging of this case is next level. It has great contemporary design. At the back, there are a few features like this case are ultra thin, just 0.6 millimeter. Extremely lightweight, just about 10 grams, superior texture and stronger than steel. Well, Kevlar materials do have a tensile strength comparable to that of carbon fiber. And at the front, there is the Willy Blue limited edition text. And at the bottom, it says later case and their tagline the impossibly thin phone case it's designed in canada and made with kevlar there is a sticker on the left side displaying the name of the smartphone and the model number there is a magnetic flap to access the drawer under the flap there is a bit of kevlar material to give you the feel of the texture and it says 100 percent dupont kevlar there are two magnets on the flap which gives you a strong satisfying click Oh boy, there is a pull tab so you don't have to use your nail to dig out the case. This drawer that contains the case slides out super smooth and it definitely delivers you an unboxing experience of a premium product. One other thing that I noticed is there are magnets on top of the case holder. Not sure if you can see them, but it does pull the drawer inside the case and gives you that snap when you slide it out or push it in all the way. Get it out. So Unbox Therapy has definitely put in some great efforts in delivering the next level unboxing experience which does justify the price point especially that it's 100% genuine Kevlar material. One thing that I noticed is that the center pommel that holds the case is just one size. So the iPhone 12 mini case fits great and when you shake the box you don't hear anything versus since the Note 20 Ultra case is taller and the case holder is smaller and hence it shakes inside the box. For me it does not really make any difference as the case is going to stay on the phone and not inside the box. Now let's talk about the design of the case and the application process. The design of the case is truly impossibly thin as it says on their tagline. The case sure has a texture to the Kevlar material and it sure is grippy. The case is matte finished and combined with the texture, these case would not slide off your hands. The main reason why I really like this case is the camera bump wraparound with precise camera cutouts. The case certainly feels extremely lightweight. The branding is pretty subtle. There is the later case logo on the inside of the case which is not visible once the case is on the phone. Now let's talk about the application process. It's really easy to put this case on or off. Just start with one side, push the case until it snaps around the phone and that's as easy as that. Now to take it off, just snap two of the edges and the case will pop out super easy. 
these are the easiest case to apply i have reviewed a lot of cases on this channel ranging from very basic protective case like this rinky case for my note 20 ultra to a full body tempered glass screen protective case like this magnetic case for note 20 ultra and this fancy Game Boy case which has a built-in battery, color display and ability to play those classic nostalgic Game Boy games from the iPhone 12. But out of all these cases, this later case are the easiest one to apply and take them off. The hardest case to apply and take it off is this iBlossom full body screen protective case and I have reviewed this along with its drop test for my Samsung smartphone and the video is linked up in the card section and at the end of this video. Once the case is on, there is plenty of room to access all the ports and buttons all around. It seems like it's just the corners that are highly protected. Speaking of protection, the camera bumps are fully protected. This later case has a camera bump wraparound design which looks distinctive. It's more pronounced on my Note 20 Ultra obviously because it has a huge camera bump and not just that, the bronze camera rings are left out from the cutout to give a nice cool look. Overall these cases are quite aesthetically pleasing, looks great, it's very grippy to hold does not add any weight to the phone and are strong and it will protect the phone from back and corner impacts but it may not protect the display. It does have the raised lip around the edges and corners but if the phone were to fall screen facing down on the edge or a step or something the display will crack but if the phone were to fall on the corner which is very common or back facing down to the ground the phone should definitely survive. Now guys, I'm not going to drop my phone to do a drop test for this case, but make sure to hit that like button as if this video gets 500 likes, I will do a complete durability test of this case and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming tech related videos. But this case is made of 100% genuine Kevlar and it should be heat resistant and should be quite strong and protective. So this later case definitely looks elegant, contemporary and enhances the aesthetics of your phone. Nice genuine Kevlar material texture to provide you a good grip, matte finish to avoid those annoying fingerprints, very easy to apply on and off, great at protecting phones back and corners, I'm not sure about the display protection but amazing unboxing experience. And with this case on your phone, it feels like you're holding your phone naked without those bulky protective case. Overall, I love this case and it's gonna stay on my phone. Stay tuned by subscribing and hit that like button for a long haul review and maybe a complete durability test down the road. So that's it. I really hope you found this video helpful. Also follow me on my other social media network for early preview to upcoming videos and free giveaways. Links are in the description of all my videos. Thanks so much for watching and take care. I'll catch you guys in the next one.